Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night, whatever time zone you guys are in. This is part three of episode six of Silver Moon. That's a tongue twi- that's not a tongue twister, it's just so many words all at once. Uh, I am back here again with Zeno and Chris. Greetings, we also have somebody new here. And we also have Sage in the background. She's muted at the moment, but she will be popping in here and there. In case you don't know, Sage is the creator of this series. Yes, she is. We deeply care for her. She was. She's the main person that um, it that directed and filmed most of this RP. She did the hard RP part. Literally, it's hard to get everyone there. That's why it's called hard <laughs> RP. That's how I identify it, anyway. I want you to get on. No, I'm not available on Sunday. Oh, you're not. What about you? Ah, oh, nah. But yeah, oh, anyway, nah. anyway, guys, if you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe and leave a like and comment if you guys uh, enjoy this series. And make sure to check out everyone. They are in the description down below, even the video um, itself. But without further ado, guys, let's finish this episode. So to recap, um, we met Sage's mother. And then we got this new sword that Sage's sister left behind. And Sage also burnt herself in water. How dare you, Sage? Sage, why the heck you not have an aloe plant nearby? What the heck is <laughs> It's not my fault. Leave me alone. <laughs> I, I think it should have been. I mean, you're like, hmm, maybe I should consciously jump into this water. Ow, it hurts. Ow, it hurts. I had to jump through the water to get into a building. Leave me look, alone. Look, it, it's fine, okay? You just have y your husband who does not have any issues with uh, the water, you see. <laughs> then he okay. comes back and says, hey, look, I found this weird lady who can read all the way out here. Somehow magically appears everywhere. Let's leave Nanaki alone, okay? Nanaki is fine. Let's leave Nanaki alone. <laughs> Poor Nanaki. He has to deal with me and two kids. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, hey, let's finish the next 14 minutes. What is that racket up? What the heck? Oh. And then we have Xavier's counterpoint counterpart. Diago. Yeah. Where did the kids go? <laughs> no. Non existent. What are you doing here? Well, you have our Phoenix. There will be time soon for you. Uh what is what is that supposed to mean? You better get to going before the hellhounds come out, too. <laughs> Bring on the hellhounds. This should be fun. Where are the kids? Of course, they're not existent for this part. I think you're going to get that phoenix out of there without anything else knowing. Ow. Ow. Oh, boo-hoo, that hurt. By the way, I have to do that oh, manually. Up. What the heck? Everyone hit? is so sassy yes. in this. Phoenix out of there without anything else knowing. Okay, you did that perfectly because I did not. I forgot that you said that Sage muted her her sounds. So that was perfect. So I didn't even recognize. <coughs> Ow. Ow. Oh, boo -hoo, that hurt. Let's try this out. Fireproof. Fireproof. <laughs> you guys are a bunch of children. We are. Ow, it hurt. Oh, don't hit me. No, mommy. Quick question, where's the mother? Oh, yeah. How are the doing? Where's the children? Where's the mother? We have everyone else there but the mother and the children. Hey, you still can't go down there. Who's gonna stop us? You? You? <laughs> Who's gonna stop us? You? 
I love you, Chris. Like, hey, you up. did that it perfectly. Look like a pretty sight down here. What? Oh. Whoa. It doesn't look happy. It doesn't look happy. No, dirt. We approach with caution. Oh. We don't want the same thing to happen to us in the temple. Yeah. Here's the plan. I'm going to go in and see if I can't calm it down. It's a creature of fire, so it should act oh. hopefully a little bit more docile towards me. All right, go ahead. It's okay. Oh We're friends. We're here to get you out of here. It's okay. If I'm being completely honest, I wish there was, like, more perspectives. Like, I wish Chris, like, was recording his perspective because of him going inside. And sometimes I wish that we recorded, um, Red's perspective. Just to get, like, a different ca camera angle. I just don't think there was, uh, very many people who could actually just sit down and record. That was the- I think that was the biggest issue. Mm-hmm. How's it going in there, Chris? So far, so good. Just be careful. We're gonna get you out of here, okay? We're gonna take you back. This is Sage. She's gonna help you get out of here, okay? Do you understand? We're gonna get you out, okay? Red, we need your nether strength in here. Alright, you guys might want to stand back. There <sighs> Come on stand out! Back. Stand back, stand back. Oh! Alright. It's okay. This way. You two lead the way. Yep. Going up the stairs. Will not stop to get you guys out. <laughs> oh no. I'm scared. But why, why? So convenient. I'm not going to let you guys go out. Catch us on fire. Get you guys out. Fire. She's having a great time. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Hey look, how convenient. Uh I'm watching the like I'm watching this while we were recording it. We recorded it around Halloween time. And it's Halloween time now. <laughs> so how convenient. I just gotta say, I love the texture pack that we did for this. Me the, too. The fall, out, the fall texture pack. Did you just realize the implications of what we just did? What? Stealing the phoenix pack? You do know he's gonna be after us now. He was after us before. Yeah, now we painted to be an even bigger target on us. Well, I mean, we have a crucial thing to our plan here. And also, we have the dragon sword. You do realize since we left his castle, she has not left my. Now that I'm thinking about it, in the fight, I don't even think we used the dragon sword. Like I don't and, think anyone. I don't and think you went through used... that much worry just to make it a part of your story. And we didn't even use it. Also, no spoilers. Stop it. <laughs> I just remembered. I don't think we used it. Those spiders are fake. But they're pretty. But they're pretty. Don't be just 
with your sister's decorations. Okay. <sighs> Watch out mess with your decorations. Yeah, don't mess with the decorations. Ooh. <sighs> Who's baby all excited? It's a, it's a bird. Not that is no bird. Fire lady. Fire lady. Okay. I swear, Xavier's just gonna call me fairy lady whenever he gets the chance in Silver Moon Season 2, and I'm gonna wanna smack him for it. No, literally, the other day, Vo me and Void were in a VC, and he said whenever I get children and I become the aunt, he's gonna teach his children just to call me Auntie Fairy Lady. Perfect. I love that. <laughs> And I wanted to smack him, and I'm like, if that ever becomes a reality, I'm going to go up to you and smack you myself. <laughs> Meeting him. Now. Okay. How rude. What the hell did he say to you? He just said, like, Something along the lines of something about time. Hmm. What could he mean by that? I don't know. You're not keeping from anything from me, are you? I would never do anything of the sort. Is this when Red becomes We're in this together? Stay tuned. Pa 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 pa. Stay tuned. Uh, the thing is, is that I was there when it happened. Like I, I was acting during that part. So it's like, when does it actually happen? Stay tuned. You're the one who wanted no spoilers. So <laughs> oh my god! Can I? Spo oh well, I don't remember it, so I can't spoil it for you. <laughs> Fire lady went boom. Fire lady went boom. Hey, stand back. Look, okay. As long as I'm here, nothing bad will happen. See, and this is where I show where Chris is, is a father figure because of that of what he just said. As long as I'm here, nothing bad will happen. Father figure. He would never. Are you telling me that you went out to go get her, and then once we finally got her, you have no further steps to your big plan? Uh, I mean, as long as we're keeping her away from Shadow and the others. Nobody should be kept up in a cage like that. Would you mind waiting inside for a moment, please? Alright. Doctor. Please keep your distance. She's still not used to you yet. Alright, anyway, what do you want? What I want is to help. But you won't let me. I don't need a pep talk. No, please don't. Until I've made my points. Look, I've lived through the past decade in hell. 
since Sage met up with me again, I've got a target painted on my back. I understand your frustration. Believe me, I do. But right now, I don't need a pep talk. I just want to be left alone. <sighs> Very well. I'm sure you have words of wisdom, but honestly, I don't need to hear them, and you're better off not saying anything anyway. Best save your breath. You may think I need help from you, but I don't. I loved how you put that in there. You think I need help from you, but I don't. You need you do need help, but not from him. <laughs> Just a little bit of salt in the wounds. Wait, did that work? I want. I, I did, <laughs> so many things could lead up of how he changed, but of how he turned. But I can't say anything because of my viewers don't even know what's going on. Unless they've been watching with you. He's fighting for. But I. We need to complete the spell on you. I'm not going anywhere until you tell me what's going on. You mentioned a spell. Ow! Ow! ow. Hey! We're completing it if you ow. like it or not. Ow! You can't get treat in. me like that and get, get away with it. Ow! Get in the cage. Ow! Why? Get in the cage. I'm not. Ow! We're not gonna ask you again. Let me out of here. Now. Ow. Twilight. Sorry, Starlight. You know Excuse what to do. Excuse me? Oh, sorry. Oops. I thought he you can give you. No. I should stop the first part, <laughs> should I? Yeah. <laughs> Let me out of here. Uh. Let's just ah. the damn thing already. Pandora, please. Wipe his right. mind right now. Let's give him his memories of his kids and then we go from there. What are you doing? Oh, don't worry. Your time will come soon. Just remember one thing. When you leave this place, you'll have no memory of it, of what happened here. Now, why don't you just go return home to your wife and kids? Before... something else happens. Wait a second. So, so, so that's what happened. I was being goody goody with them, but I have a few other people that might help me out. Not goody goody with them. It's always good we got you around. I always side with family. Isn't that right, Grandpa? I don't like you, Chris. I don't like you. No. <laughs> these to be to be continued are killing you, isn't it? Yes, they are. It. Ah, uh, why do you do this to me? Ah, uh, 
I guess that's the end of episode six, everyone. <laughs> and now a bunch of things is filling inside my head because I didn't even know what happened to Red because I knew something was wrong with Red and he how he was acting strange and everything. Because of my character, like, later down in the road, like, has to... I I get punched by Red. Let's say it that way. I get punched by him at some point. I don't I don't know if it's still in here, but I remember acting out the part. And so he was acting strange. Now I know why. Cause I didn't even know. Ah, <laughs> uh, Chris, why? Stay tuned. Lots more yeah. coming up. Anyway, guys, I guess that concludes episode six. I hope you guys enjoyed through our long journey at almost an hour long journey. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to, to subscribe and leave a like and comment down below. If you guys want to see more, make sure to check everyone else out. Sage, Zeno, Chris, and even the video itself. Like I said, stay tuned. Lots more coming up. Yep. Yeah. Without further ado, guys, I'll catch you all next time. Bye. Bye.